Good morning, uh, my name is Andy Dyson from Aspira Fields Advisors. I'm here today to do the Data Explorer's daily update for the 5th of November 2008. Um, what we wanted to do this morning was just revisit a story that we covered a few days ago um, regarding the uh, drink sector in the UK, in particular uh, the pub sector, uh, and look at two names in that sector, Punch uh, and JD Weatherspoon. Um, the reason we, we want to come back to this story is to just have a little look at what's happening to the short position based on recent comments regarding uh, the next area of difficulty seen across the corporate market, which is the refinancing of debt positions as they roll off. Um, there's a story in the UK Times today regarding the ability of corporates of all types to refinance debt as it becomes uh, due. And clearly, when we look into the sector and look at um, somebody like Punch, um, generally regarded as being um, relatively highly leveraged with lots of debt, um, and that they yesterday announced profits were down by 7%, uh, and it might have to sell a number of uh, its uh, properties in the UK. Um, the short position in Punch is quite interesting as well. The um, percentage of uh, loans has risen from about 10% in August to just under 15% today. Um, this is a little bit off from what we've seen before with a bit of short covering undertake being undertaken uh, and it's brought the overall high down from 17% uh, seen uh, in mid-October. Interestingly enough, the utilisation of available shares is still running at about 50%, indicating um, a relatively high level of short interest in the security. Um, if we move on and look at um, a security that's a logical peer to this, which is JD Weatherspoon, um, generally regarded as being a little bit be better positioned from a balance sheet perspective, um, increased sales, the pub appears to be outperforming its peers, both in absolute terms and uh, sales. Um, hopefully in a good position to ride out the storm. We've seen before that um, pubs and related activities can be counter-cyclical during a significant downturn. Um, the short position in, uh, in Weatherspoons, there's been a big short position in Weatherspoons um, over the summer. Um, we saw an increase from about 10% of market cap on loan in August, rising to 18% in September. Um, the figures now come off a little bit, falling to 16% uh, as of a couple of days ago. But once again, the utilisation of available stocks looks quite high at around about 75%. So I think from our perspective, very interested to see how both these stocks behave over the coming weeks, particularly as the market begins to think about uh, how they'll have to refinance uh, debt. In both cases, um, Punch and Weatherspoon do have maturities of uh, me medium and long-term debt coming up in the next 12 to 18 months. Um, final point for the day, just a quick look uh, towards the US, uh, US election and post-US election environment. Um, interesting uh, stock that we wanted to look at, which was CIT Group. Um, huge activity in the stock. This is um, regarded by many as a peripheral financial services player. Um, lots of talk that they may get access to the US uh, funded bailout uh, resources. Um, what this has mean is that we've seen lots of interest in the stock uh, and from a short perspective um, we've seen uh, percentage on loan has decreased from a previously sizable 23% a few days ago to around about 17%. Once again utilisation of available securities looking quite high at around about 50%. So the market is beginning to think very carefully about whether or not CIT is going to have access to bailout funds and clearly we will continue to monitor this story closely and bring you further updates. Thanks very much.